Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of City Skylines. My name is CityZilla and today we are going to be working on a marina. And so on the last episode we did this awesome zoo and I gotta say it just turned out so well and it does look like we're having some death wave issues over here. I wonder if we have good death coverage. I did have to adjust some of our services within the city. I'm gonna go over some of the fixes that I had to do. Yeah, it looks like we actually have a problem. So we did do services down there, but it looks like we um, pretty much forgot services up here, which is just terrible. So we're going to go ahead and pop that right there. And that should be good. And I went ahead and added in fire coverage over here. I had to add in some medical as well, um, just because of the way that the game works, having them over here just isn't close enough. And so um, I went ahead and just popped them all down. It's kind of funny. We had some issues with our uh, industry as well. I ended up having to spend a ton of money replacing our entire oil industry. I had to delete all the buildings as well as our factories because they just weren't getting deliveries at all. Um, but yeah, we just weren't getting plastics deliveries here. And then for our household plastics factory, we, were, we actually weren't getting either of these. So I had to place down the warehouses again too. And, and so now everything's working. I did also put in three oil derricks over here too, just because I wanted to get some of our own, um, some of our own production in. And then this thing's still kind of a little fudged up here at it isn't very accurate. Like I'm pretty sure we're importing the majority of our oil as all of these are set to import from our cargo harbor over here. But um, we're making good money now. And so now we're like fluctuating right now. We're at like 15,000 and we go all the way up to like 50,000. So we should be good. It does look like we're dropping down population a little bit. I wonder if that death wave issue is actually affecting a little more of the city. So it does look like we do have some spots in for death care <laughs> like we... Uh, we either neglected to put some crematoriums in or we just uh, all out, you know, forgot. And so I do want to place a couple of them down, even though it's incredibly unrealistic to have to place a crematorium within an industrial area. The way that this game works, you need to have them kind of placed around. And so I'm going to do a pop one right there and let's go ahead and pop one over here, too, since this is another uh, another little commercial area. And it kind of sucks. We're going to get rid of some of that. But having this over here would just be really, really smart for us. Um, it does look like our downtown has some, though it looks like maybe up here would be good too. I don't want any of these people to have death wave issues. So what will happen is if you don't have adequate coverage, um, then nobody actually comes to pick up the dead person and, and which can cause a ton of issues for your city. And so it's um, again, incredibly unrealistic to have to place these around everywhere, but uh, it's just the way that the game runs. And so that that actually should help out. It does look like we have uh, quite a bit of capacity now. It says uh, deceased 370. And so and man, our city is just coming alive. I really like this uh, this cargo port area. I think this is great. I think we may expand our oil, our ore industry again. We had initially done this as, you know, a decommissioned ore mine. But now that the city is booming, the ore company is thinking about expanding again. And so I think it would be a great idea. Uh, all right. And so um, let's go ahead and jump in here now that I just uh, kind of talked your ear off. And so let's jump over here and we are going to delete this. I want to come over here as well. We'll delete that. And we're going to get a little crazy with this. And I looked at a few cities for inspiration. Um, the best way to have done this area would have been to not zone this front section because then we could have toyed around with our uh, coastline a little bit but it's okay I, I like the look that we got and so I'm not disappointed with it but I do want to delete these and I want it to flood um, I kind of toyed around with just deleting them and then replacing all the buildings and it kind of just creates a whole mess and so um, we'll go ahead and let that flood and while we're doing that what we're going to do is jump in here go into rural roads go ahead and turn that off and I'm thinking we're going to create some like a little step pattern and the marina that I'm using for inspiration for this is a Marina del Rey. And it is actually an awesome marina that I've been to. It's right next to Santa Monica and, and Venice in Los Angeles. And the way that the marina there is situated is that there are uh, supporting buildings and everything kind of attached in the middle of the piers. And I think it's just a really nice addition. So I think what we're going to do is come off here and I want to come out at an angle that is going to make sense. So if we come out like right there and we're going to come out 40, it does look like we're going to have some flooding issues. Hopefully not a lot though. So I think right there is probably good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go out 10. And then we're going to come back. You know, that actually looks pretty good. I just want it to be at a good angle. And so now what we're going to do, we are going to allow about 20 spaces. Let's actually check this out. So I did a little bit, I did a little template within move it for a marina. We are going to adjust it a little bit, but this is overall the direction I would like. So I think we're going to do two and two. So we're going to go ahead and place that there. We are going to import another one. So it looks like we need to be a little bit further. So we will go back in here. Let's go ahead and Alt Z. There we go. 
undo that and then let's come in here and so i think we're going to go out like 25 and so we will go back up attach it there and then i want to make sure that this is the same length so it looks like we're about 41 which is not ideal i want them all to be the same length so we're actually going to choose a distance that is a little bit a little bit closer go out 25 go out here and then we will come out here so we're 24 so we need 16 perfect and then we will go out 10 and then go back fantastic and then we will come out 25 and so we'll go like that and you know what that actually looks really good and so let's go ahead and delete this because we want to allow the water to come back into the ocean man the city would just be this would be like a national national emergency right now the water's coming over the edge People are just screaming, they're running. Look at this, that car's floating away. This would be like on the news or something. Like he's hitting the building. He just hit the tree. I hope nobody's in there. Wow, I can't even believe that we caused this. If they knew that we caused this, like this was intentional, we would definitely lose our, uh, our ability to keep designing. And so I would like to fit one more. Maybe we could fit. Let's see if we go out 25 right here. Yeah, you know what, that actually looks good. And then I think what we're gonna do is have a seawall. It's kind of funny, I was playing around with the seawall and I ended up looking up seawalls and their uh, importance. And because, especially because this is facing the ocean, this doesn't have another body of land over here. We would need to protect our marina as well as our shore from erosion and just wakes, high waves. Um, we would want to protect the boats within the marina. And so you have to have some sort of seawall. And looking around our city, we actually have a couple other areas that we'll probably have to build seawalls. Uh, maybe if we do like a small one right here or as we expand, we maybe do one over here. A lot of our area is um, is barricaded from the open water because of the land. So even like over here wouldn't be as bad. And so we definitely need a seawall over here, mainly because um, it's got the open ocean right there. We um, would not be able to get away with uh, just keeping that like that. It does look like we have. Oh, look at these planes over here. I never realized that the planes like set up over here too. Man, they're just diving through the water. Look at that. What is happening here? I feel like we, um, so there's people getting on the, ooh, look, they're all like waiting. I knew they did this for trains, but I guess I never looked over at planes because look, so they dive into the water and then they back up. This is really impressive. I don't know if I've ever seen this before. And wow, this is, I don't even, how are they doing that? That's just insane. This is really crazy to see. I don't know if we were supposed to see that. Um, but we're going to come back over here. And so now let's do our little seawall. And so they still have an opening way on this side. They just wouldn't be able to exit on the ocean side. Would kind of suck. I mean, you'd have to drive around, but this is really going to protect our area from any waves or anything. And then this side is uh, a little bit less waves because of this land and then because of these other key walls and everything. And so um, just an easy way for you to protect your area. And so now what we're going to do is jump into rocks. And I think we may even make that a little bit bigger, but I have these lovely surface rocks that I believe are by Owl. Yeah, Owl. And so we will come in here now and let's actually soften it up just a smidge. And then we're going to go ahead and do a key wall on the opposite side. So now let's come in here and see if we can soften this just a smidge. It actually looks like we're not going to be able to. So let's see if we can just do the rocks on here and make it look good. So we'll come in here. I'm just going to do rocks all the way down now. And there we go. And then just to uh, make the rock seem a little more real rather than that same pattern rock everywhere, what I'm going to do is fill in that top rock. Kind of wish I would have turned it a little bit, but we're just going to come in here and scatter these around, make it look more authentic. Um, that's one of the easiest things you can do with your cities to make them look a little re realer is get rid of the patterns. And you see it a lot with trees. You just have the same tree everywhere and you find a pattern in the trees. Well, in real life, trees don't form patterns like that. You don't have like a straight line of trees. And so it just looks incredibly unrealistic. This looks a little better. You can kind of see we're we're still having an issue over here. I think what I'm going to do is grab a little bit higher. So I'll go like this. And then what I'm going to do is go up here. I'm going to go right next to it. And I'm not even sure. Maybe they even do seawalls like this too, where it wouldn't just be a wall because you wouldn't want it to actually erode away the seawall either. So they probably do like an embankment. And then now we should be able to soften this a little bit. Yeah, look at that. That is perfect. And there we go. And so now that should ideally, yeah, look at that. I really like that. And then I got this, um, a couple new key walls as well. And so I got this awesome one that has this little pattern on it that I think is just fantastic. Yeah, just look at this thing. This is just so awesome. And so we will come up here and let's go ahead and have this wrap around now. I think this looks great. I absolutely love that texture on there. 
And so we will go like this and then let's go ahead and go straight now and we'll go like that. Perfect. And then we should be good now. Let's go ahead and look at it though. So the idea is that this also helps to protect any sort of waves going in here. And I think this is just fantastic. I do want to go in and just adjust these rocks again. I'm going to go ahead and play with these rocks just a little bit more to try to get them to be a little bit more real. You kind of see the pattern in here. I don't really uh, like it that much. All right, and there we go. So I ended up switching the rocks around. These surface rocks were just having too many issues. So I actually went to this uh, brown modular rock. And it is actually part of a series, but it's by Grey Flame, and they just look so much better. They're just more realistic now, like you get more of a, a better look with these rocks. And so I do want to also come through here and do some uh, foliage as well, since we can imagine some of these rocks have been here a long time. So I want to just come in here and I'm just going to sprinkle them around. It looks like I'm not going to be able to get them on top of the rocks, which I'm not too worried about. But I do want to get them along the top side a little bit. So we'll come in here and just kind of splat them around. I'm not going to do a lot. All right, and there we go. So I, I think that actually looks really good. I like the look of that. And so I made a little offshoot over here so that we could do a lighthouse. And so I have this awesome Arcadia lighthouse. And the best lighthouse I've ever seen was up in Maine. It is just their lighthouses up there or something else. Like if you're ever in America and you're checking out Maine, which I'm sure you'll you'll check out the lighthouses anyways, but they are definitely worth it. And so I do want there to be, I'm going to go ahead and pause. I want there to be a little building over here too. So I'm going to actually go over to Floppable and then let's look for just like a small building. Ooh, like this one actually looks really good. It's a little powerhouse, but honestly, I think what I'm going to do is convert it to a PO and then just place it right next to it. I think this is fantastic. So this would be like where they lived or uh yeah, basically where they lived. And so whoever lived in this uh, lighthouse or kept it would now have like a nice place to stay. And so I think that is fantastic. I really like that. And so I do want to do a little path back here too. We're just going to do a gravel path. I'm going to go ahead and draw from back here and have it go all the way back. I do want to level up this key wall too. So I'm going to go ahead and control H right there. And then I'm going to come all the way down to the end and then bring it back and control H right here as well. And then let's jump into the network multi-tool, go to slope mode. We'll grab that and then we will come all the way down here and go like that. Perfect. I think that is fantastic. I really like that key. I like the look of it. It's just such a cool look. Um, and so now I'm just going to do this path real quick. And there we go. And it's kind of funny. As I laid down the path, I realized that we had the wrong theme on. We had Crater Lakes theme on it. So that's a little different. Um, it definitely looks a little better. Things don't seem as white. I got to see what's wrong with that Crater Lake theme. Definitely is a little bit brighter. And so I'm... Um, did also change the sun's position though too. It kind of went more up ahead, but I think this looks good. And um, so I got the path in there and I think this is just fantastic. And so now basically this would just be where people would walk out. I don't know if in the game they're actually going to, I kind of hope they do, but um, I think what we would have to do is turn this into a park, um, which we could do. I mean, we could do a little gazebo all the way at the, at the end, do a couple gazebos. Just, I don't think that would be <laughs> incredibly realistic to have a little gazebo out here, but. Uh, maybe we'll, I mean, we'll, we'll kind of see, maybe people will walk out there, but I think this looks really great. Um, I, I like the seawall idea. It's kind of funny. I forgot to do a path over here too. I'm just going to go ahead and draw this in real quick. And there we go. I feel like that looks pretty good. I could even, I'll probably end up putting in some trees or um, some flowers in there. Um, but I think I really like how this looks. I think the seawall came out really well. And so now let's actually start working on a harbor now that we uh, just spent a ton of time on that. But um, so now let's come in here and we are going to level all these out. Ooh, that is not level. I didn't realize how high that was. Jeez. So we will come down here, go like that. I feel like the rest of them we already leveled. Yeah, we did. And so now we can come in here and make our land masses. Okay, so what we are going to do is jump in here and we're going to use those same piers that we did on the other side just because they work out really well in here. And so I do want to see if we can upgrade these. I don't know if we can. There, I had some issues upgrading in the past with these. I feel like that looks really good. And so now let's come in here and just kind of clean up the edges a little bit. Ooh, it looks like I need to flip these around actually. I thought I flipped them all around, but I guess not. So I have them all facing the right direction now. And I think they look fantastic. I absolutely love these piers. And so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and jump in to move it. And I made a template for these little marinas. I think they're just fan fantastic so we're gonna go ahead and place one way out here and so I used floating assets for the actual docks but then I did um, regular standing static piers for the actual walkways which I think is just great I tried doing floating ones for those ones as well and it just it was really hard to deal with and so I decided to do 
um, the stable ones and then the flat ones for the other ones. And so now what we're going to do is come in here and I want this to be far enough for a boat to get in the back too. So we're going to come like right there. And then I don't know if we're going to be able to fit two on either side, but that would be the goal. So then we would want this to be somewhat level with that other side. So we'll come in like right there. Yeah, you know what? I feel like putting in another one's going to be really hard for us, but it's not the end of the world. So we will come in here and we need to leave a little bit of space for a boat to go in the middle now. So we're going to go like right there. Maybe we'll even come out a little bit further. And then we will flip this around and put one on the opposite side now. And it's going to kind of protrude out a little bit. Should have probably looked at that first. If we come out here, uh, you know, it's actually not bad. So we will come out, line it up with both of them the best we can. And there we go. And so now we will come into our boardwalks and go to boardwalk stairs. And basically what we want to do is just connect those up. So we want to go like right there. And then we're going to come up over here, do the same thing, go like right there. And one of the cool things with these stairs is that they actually provide a little bit of an opening at the boardwalk. And so I think they're just such great assets. And so if you're a little bit shorter, you just kind of stretch it out. And so you just line it up with this and then you bring it above and they're just like little stairs. It's kind of interesting. They're, they're not like a uh, great stairs, but they do function. And that's really what we're trying to do here. So we're trying to line it up with that. And then I think that's good. So that looks pretty good right there. And I'm just going to go ahead and do it for the other ones real quick. So now we have them all connected up to the pier, which is just fantastic. And I do wish, man, we had a little bit more space, but so now what I'm going to do, since they are all the same distance apart, I'm actually going to grab all of these and then copy and then place them down. And so I do want to get the ends as well. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this and then copy and then do uh, probably just a couple on this side because I don't want it to be in here. So we would probably go out like this far. So I think we'll do just one big one here. So we'll connect that up. And then what we're going to do is get rid of our little walkways. So we'll just do one in the middle. So we'll grab this and then bring it down. Now all I need to do is just hook up our little... Uh, little entrances and then I'm going to straighten them out so that they don't all look all weird. And there we go. So it took a little bit of time, but I uh, straightened them out as best I could. And then I put our little connectors in and then I decided to do fishing piers on the end of the piers because it's going to allow us to have actual boats going through here, which I think are going to look, look really cool. But then also because a lot of piers like this will still have some sort of fishing capacity. Um, it really depends. I mean, this would probably be a private pier, but we're actually going to make it a municipal pier. Um, since it is just off of this section and so this would be where anybody could rent the boats You wouldn't have to be a part of any sort of club or pay any membership or anything like that All right, and so I think this looks really good I do want to do some fun stuff in the middle So I think we're gonna do some offices and then some boat storage and then I have some uh, some props and assets that I think are gonna be fun um, I think offices are gonna be great though because these um, have great views and this would still be like an office park Just with a waterfront in front of it. And so I did it like a little boat storage right here, but um, we'll come in and decorate afterwards and then we will do, um, yeah, just residential and office space in the middle. And I think this is going to be fantastic. So there would still be limited access to the actual marinas. So you would have like a little gate. So if you rented a, a section over here, you would have the number for the keypad so that you could get down to the boat. But say if you lived up here, this would just be such an awesome little area to like live in a condo. You'd have an awesome view of the water. You'd literally step out and be right on the pier. And same with offices. I think it's just such an awesome little look. I do think we are going to reserve the end for just the fishing since I don't really know if people would want to live right next to that. But I think we will come through here and actually just splatter around some, some residential now. And I do want them to be four by slots. We're going to go like that. I'm just going to go ahead and fill these in real quick. So I intentionally left some spaces empty. A lot of it was just because the zoning on these piers can be a little iffy, but I want to come through and do some walking paths and just really make it into a nice area. Um, I do need to do water pipes real quick and voila, water pipes in. And so now we have zoning. We, I went ahead and painted it all as a district and I did self-sufficient housing with organic and local produce. We'll get like some nice little shops in here and then um, we'll be able to come in and do some paths. So let's actually jump in here, go to concrete paths and there we go. So I decided to do these pedestrian roads as we will, we're allowed to get even more zoning now. So if we come in here, I just want to add them in here, get some little shops on there. I think this is going to be fantastic. So if we come in here, fill that in, let's go ahead and fill that in. We'll actually do a path back there. Then we will come in here, go like that go like that and then what this is gonna do is just create like a little mall vibe and I really like areas like this in real life I think they're just fantastic um, where you get like a waterfront area along with um, some little walkways and stuff and it's just a really cool thing to have and so I do want to come in here though and um, fill in the rest with paths though so I'm gonna go ahead and connect these up and there we go I feel like this looks great let's go ahead and unpause so we can start getting some stuff in here 
I think for this section, what we're going to do, let's see if we're still painted. So it is still one little district right there. So I want to get some more organic and local produce off of this. And I do want to connect this up as well. So let's actually do that first. So let's come into a one unit road and we're going to do two way. Let's go ahead and connect these up. Ooh, it looks like we're going to have some issues with that. So let's actually um, connect them up in different areas. We'll come over here, connect that up. And we're already connected down there as well. You know what? That's probably good right there. So we'll actually leave this unconnected to, uh, to people driving, which is okay. Um, we will end up coming through here and doing a path and then extending our little uh, shopping center. I want to do some more of these just because I, I really like the look of the organic and local produce on this waterfront. I think it looks fantastic. I am going to go into zoning adjuster though and remove zoning off of this so that we can get a little bit bigger zoning off of this. I just want to do those two buys. So we'll go like that. And then I think we're going to do a really big plaza slash park right here. I feel like that's a really great spot for it. And so let's go ahead and see what we got going in. Man, I'm excited for this. We still got to do all the boats too. And then we need to hook up our fishing lines, which this area really isn't the greatest for fishing. It's going to be kind of a challenge. Yeah, man, I think this looks great. All right, and so let's go ahead and start designing out the rough layouts of this park. So I do want, ooh, it looks like we had some flooding issues back here. Good thing I looked, I didn't even check this. I checked our waterfront area, but I didn't check our, our lovely park here. Whenever you have the um, disaster response unit, you can actually just rebuild these. And it's part of the natural disasters DLC, but um, if it's a really nice touch, you know, it makes it so that you have to be aware of any sort of disasters if it's not an actual building um, that you've placed, then it just kind of fixes itself like the zonables. They just um, fix themselves. But I do want to follow the same kind of scheme. So I think we're going to use the, I think it was the zoo tile with the concrete. I think it looks really clean. So I think maybe we will even grab these, grab that and put it on either side. And let's actually extend, I, I believe we have a park area right there. We do. So let's actually extend our park area down here as well. Hey, there you go. Rhino enclosure, lion enclosure. Man, I didn't, I completely forgot that we were still expanding that zoo too. Jeez, let's see where we're at. So did we get everything? Ooh, we did look at that. So let's actually, um, we're going to do that too. And let's see if we got our, uh, our roller coaster too. We didn't. How close are we? Can't believe our zoo leveled up first. This area is just great. It's free too. Anybody can come. Oh, we're like right there though. Look at that. We're so close. So we might even be able to work on those too. Let's go ahead and jump back here before we get uh, distracted. And I want to place two of these. We're going to come down here and let's go ahead and go like right here. And then we are going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to go parallel with that road. And I want to come out. What was it? Two squares. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And then I want to do a couple really big fountains and I have a few of them saved. So I'll come in here. We're just going to play around with these and see if these fit. If not, I can always draw in another one. So I'm going to import this small circle fountain. Oh, you know what? I feel like this is going to actually work out well. So we are going to get out of copy mode, grab all of that, and then control H on our height and see what that looks like. You know what? I really like that. I think we're going to grab that and copy it. I'm going to go right there and then we're going to do two on this side too. So we're going to go right there and right there. Nice. I feel like that already is a really nice addition. And then I think I'm going to do something custom in the middle. I want to do uh, something fun with these curbs, make it into a really nice area. Maybe even do a really big fountain in the middle. You can kind of see the mist from this. It's funny. Um, but I think that looks really good. Man, I'm really liking this area. I think we may jump over to the zoo too, because I want to do all this during a detailing time lapse. It's going to be very uh, kind of arduous. And then we'll come in here and do some trees too. But man, this is already coming together nicely. I was going back and forth whether to do high rises on these, but I got to say this looks really good. I like the whole marina vibe too. I think that looks fantastic. So let's go ahead and jump in here and see what we got going on. So I don't think we have the giraffe enclosure. Let's see what this is. So elephant enclosure, antelope enclosure, flamingo enclosure. Man, so we still got a lot. We need to uh, figure out what we're going to do. So we have the giraffe enclosure, which is actually pretty big. We could put it down here. I feel like that would be a good spot for it have a nice overlook too so like you could get on top and look at the giraffes or turn around and have a nice view of um, some tall buildings you can kind of see the water in the back but <laughs> that's uh, 
definitely much taller than I was originally thinking. And then let's look at the rhino enclosure too. So this one's big too. This, I mean, on it, it's rhino. So what do you expect? But then let's look at the lion one too. All right. So they're all kind of big. Let's jump in here and let's level out a nice little space for this. So let's go up here and I want to still leave room for our nature reserve because we're going to start encroaching on its land right here. And I want to be careful. Um, so I think we will come down here and I want to do something down here. A nice little space. We'll go ahead and widen this just a little bit and let's do a slope nice look at that perfect and then i think we can fit two little spaces down here so let's go ahead and do the giraffe enclosure just because i feel like having that little overlook would be such a cool little feature so we're gonna go ahead and put that right there yeah i feel like that looks cool and i mean if you look the other way you get a nice view of the mountain you can kind of see the water in between these these tall buildings kind of ruin it a little bit but i think we could do Let's go ahead and draw our path down. And it's kind of funny, I didn't use the one with trees for the rest of them, but the one with trees actually looks pretty good. So let's see what we can do here now, because we're kind of, we got a dead end over here. It would be nice if this actually went somewhere. So let's see if we bring this out and then go around. Does that ruin a bunch? I mean, it kind of does. Let's see what that looks like though. Oh, you know what, that actually looks pretty good. And then we're gonna do another one of our little uh, shopping centers over here, just because we can. So we're going to place the plaza right there and then let's do our restaurant. So zoo cafe and then our bathrooms at least. I don't think we're going to do the souvenir shop. We already have a ton of them throughout. And so let's jump back over here and let's see. I think the monkey palace will fit right here. I feel like this is going to be a good spot for it. Yeah, if we go like right there. And so now if anybody comes over to this area, at least there's a couple things. So the draft enclosure, monkey palace, and that's really the goal with this is I want to create separate spaces. All right. So then for the rhino enclosure and the, the lion enclosure, I'd really like to create a nice space for them, but I want to also create a nice entrance. So I think what we're going to do is go ahead and get rid of this and change this around a little bit. So if we bring this up, have it turn a little bit, I feel like that's pretty good. And then we can jump back into our path and then we will have this go straight a little bit have it go like right there and then have it go in yeah there we go i feel like that's okay because in that way what we can do is have this go the opposite way and so we will come over here now and go to rhino enclosure and go like that all right so we'll go ahead and place this down now we'll go like this nice and then that way what we can do is turn this into a nice little space too so we will actually back this off just a little bit and then let's back this off just a smidge and then that way what we can do is actually have our path run down the middle and then do some more shops and stuff which is always good and then let's go ahead and hook this up now so we will come back in here go to freeform turn this in we'll go like right there and let's go ahead and turn this in too and then that way what we can do is the same thing on this side so we're going to have a straight road go across and then we're going to have it curve in hey you know what that actually doesn't look bad i'm going to go ahead and clean up this curve a little bit yeah there we go nice i think that looks great I think we're going to get rid of this road in the middle as it's going to leave us some room to be able to put in another little uh, shopping area because that's you know again it's really what these places are about. So let's go ahead and do the plaza in the front. And that's gonna be like our entrance for this area. And then we will do that, go across, do that. And then let's come up over here, go there, and let's do another little cafe. Nice. This actually looks good. That's um, what I was hoping for was just to kind of blend it in there. And so now we'll just come in and do um, some props and stuff. And we'll do some trees and stuff. And then that way, this area is actually left for our lovely, um, our lovely nature reserve park because we're kind of encroaching across the on this hill i wanted it to be like a climb so that you can go all the way up and just kind of enjoy the view and and just really enjoy the the nature park and so let's jump back over here this area is looking fantastic i just man i really like this i like our seawall too i think we did a good job with this and i think these buildings coming in are looking fantastic we just need to put in some boats and stuff and kind of decorate everything up and so i think i'm going to jump into a detailing time lapse i hope you guys enjoy it and i will be right back with you
All right, and there we go. I think this looks amazing. It um it took me forever. Um, placing these boats was a doozy. Every single one of them was placed individually, and, and some of them messed up. I'll probably go back through here and clean them all up, but it's going to take me a little while. I went ahead and got rid of this, the buildings that were here and put in a hotel um, just because I added in some larger piers for like yachts and stuff. And I felt like having some sort of yacht club down here would be appropriate. Um, but then I did some dock assets. I did little uh, boat cranes so that people could lower boats into the water if they like brought it on their little trailer or something. Say so they were moving it to the marina. Um, and then I hooked up our fishing line. So now we have boats actually going in, in our marina, which is great. It's kind of funny. They're actually actively fishing, which isn't very realistic. But uh, but then I did a huge little uh, plaza down here. I think it looks good. I decided to do the triangle planters because we haven't really done the triangle ones recently. And then I put a bunch of lights up. I custom designed these with grass networks and then um, some bushes and stuff. And then as well as this custom des designed this with the fountain. I think it looks really good. And then I went up and decorated all this stuff too. Didn't really do anything special up here. Just kind of put in the rocks. And then um, I put in this rock too. I, I felt like this looked really good. It, I did end up leaving a lot of this empty because we are still going to do the nature reserve and I don't want to encroach too much on that. And so I would prefer to leave that up for the future. And so I did do lights for all of this as well. I think they look really good. Um, and so let's go ahead and switch nights um i went ahead and did these purple in between anybody who hasn't seen it before we did green over here and then orange and i thought it was just a really fun way to uh, kind of light up the city i do think it would be too high of a uh, light pollution for them to keep it on all the time but um, but then I did red around the outside just to uh, help outline our, our uh, seawall here. It's kind of funny, the regular like red lights just aren't as bright. And so that's why I decided to do these, even though I don't really think that they're super realistic. But then I put lights on all of our piers so that anybody who was maybe boating at night would be able to see. I think it looks really good. Um, I really like it. I went ahead and lit up our plaza over here and I think it looks great. Again, I didn't really do any colors over here. And then I went ahead and lit up our waterfalls as well, since this would kind of be like the whole whole uh, centerpiece of this area is these waterfalls. So at least now at night, you'd be able to kind of see the water running. It would be just really cool, especially over here on this pier. You'd see the waterfalls coming down, which I think just looks awesome. Um, but go ahead and let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you so much for watching. I super appreciate it. If you enjoyed the episode, go ahead and hit that like button. It really helps me out a lot. And so if you enjoyed this episode, you will definitely enjoy the episode on your screen. And thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on Friday.